and welcome to a cold but very, very sunny Santa Pod Raceway for the 2013 Festival of Power. We're here to cover the 2013 Funny Car Challenge. We've got Nitro in short little race cars with huge amounts of horsepower. It's going to be fantastic racing all through the season, but for this weekend, we're at Santa Pod. <laughs> Well, it's Easter 2013 and it's time for the first round of this brand new series. We've got four cars at the track for this event with more to follow as the year progresses. There's John Spuffard with the ever popular Showtime. Gordon Smith, who's one of the drivers in a two car team, along with Jason Phelps. We got the two cars, so either Jason or I are aiming to win the championship. So, uh, yeah, yeah, no, I'm looking forward to it. We have a fairly new car in, the, in my car and uh, there's a bit of work to be done with that yet. And that means a new pit crew to break in as well. And the thing will be running on gas. When he nods to you, you dip, just dip it in and make sure it's right in the alcohol and then keep it in there until he says shut it off and then you just pull it out and hold it up. Here with John Spuffard, pilot of uh, the missile right behind us, the Showtime car, brand new car, beautiful, beautiful machine. John, here this weekend at Santa Paul Raceway, brand new racing surface that's coming around quite quickly. Just wish the same could be said for the weather. Really, really arctic conditions. How's that affected you so far? Well, we've been watching the weather front as well. Um, we've got two qualifying sessions each day and we've, we've chosen to go for the second one each time. According to the weather pattern, it should give us the best chance of anything. This weather is really, really hard for us. You know, we've got 8,000 horsepower plus. We're trying to make the thing work. We're trying to stick it to a cold track. And uh, it's just hard work. Well, 2013 sees a complete track resurface here at Santa Pod. But with record low temperatures for March and snow still standing on the site, these 8,000 plus horsepower cars are really going to struggle to get the power down on this brand new surface. There's certain things a driver can do, like you can hang the brake, and uh, do, it, but that's, that's about your only tool. Really, the, the, the um, decisions are made in the staging lanes. And if it's wrong there, it's wrong. And if it's right there, it's right. I mean, they've done a fantastic job of the track. Looks nice and flat. They've got as much rubber on it as they can, but it's heat, and there's a lack of heat at the moment. So we're all wrapped up. <laughs> um, so it's going to be difficult to get the cars off the line. That's going to be the problem area, I think. It is obviously cold, but because there is, a, or there's windows of a sun in the sky, the track's like a big solar panel, and it sucks up the heat, and if it has 20 minutes or an hour of like a little bit of sunshine it, it, it's possible we've tried to soften it down wherever we can but there gets to a point where if you soften it too much it goes into a self-harm mode so we've got to try and be a little on the safe side which is probably a little aggressive for the weather conditions but we have to try to keep the car from damaging itself as well just on how cold it is, I mean, you've run in fairly chilly conditions in November before, but this is actually now a race, so you want to get down the racetrack as quick as you can. It must make things even more difficult. Well, of course, you want to try and get that number one spot all the time, but uh, at the same time, we're trying to be a little consistent and conservative of parts that we've got. So it's the first qualifying session with uh, track CEO here at Santa Pod, Keith Bartlett, checking out the new surface. It's John Spuffard with the gorgeous Showtime Mustang. He's going to be first to test out the service. He's crew chief Bob Jarrett from the US. Guys in four from the water box. And a nice strong burnout for the team. I should say the team are based very locally and Bob, crew chief on the car, is actually uh, an Englishman, but he lives out in the States now flies back on race weekends to come and tune this car. Very competitive it is indeed. All the latest up-to-date state-of-the-art equipment on this car. Most of it from John Force Racing, including the body, the chassis, and most of the engine, I think, as well. But I doubt if it's ever seen anything as freezing cold as that this weekend. Those crew guys better watch that. Their hands are going to stick to that or freeze to it, I should think. So here we go. And not a great start to the weekend. We just blew the tyres right off the car. Um, we've looked at that and we've tried to adjust again 
and we're taking a little more out and we're, we're just trying to get that balance um, to try and overcome this, these conditions, you know. And looking forward to the rest of the year, obviously you're going to be back here at Santa Pod another couple of times at least throughout the year running in this championship. What do you ultimately, I was going to say, think and want the two different things, but all being well, what do you hope for this year? What are your realistic goals? Well, well of course, there's the, as you say, we've run five zeros many times and uh, we've got to get under that, that barrier there somewhere along the line. Um, so that's obviously what we'll be aiming for. And I think it will definitely happen to this track now. It's, uh, the surface is going to be great. Well, next to try his lucky qualifying is Jason Phelps in the FGO fiberglass repairs car. This is one of the two team cars run by the Shockwave team. This car is tuned by Dave Bryant and is very normally very, very good at getting down the colder racetracks. This is pretty much as cold as it ever will get. So moving forward into stage, let's see if we can get it to stick. Well, surprise of the day so far, Jason with a great run. 698, 136 miles an hour, but the car launched and went off the line, which means they've got the combination to get down the racetrack. So the last car in qualifying is Gordy Smith. The other Shockwave team car, that's Dave Bryant with a hat on, firing his driver up, ready to go. And it's Dave that actually tunes these cars. There's a lot of things they can do on them, take horsepower out, change the clutch setting, to try and get them down the racetrack, but there's only so much they can do. Well, Gordon double steps it off the line, but a really strong run after that. And the car hooks up really well, still runs a seven, even after clicking off that early. Another new driver starting out this season is Kevin Kent. A brand new car and a brand new crew to break in as well. When you come back, pull these, yeah. put them over, tuck them in. Yeah, tuck them in out of the way, I don't want them getting covered and all. Pull that up, twist it, tuck it in under there, yeah, on the steering arm. Yeah. Kevin, beautiful new race car, but new being the operative word and you as a driver as well so you're licensing this weekend first of all just take us through a little bit about the whole licensing procedure and also why you need to get a license yeah well first licensing procedure you got to do like um you got to show me you can pack your parachutes your skate patch out of the car they got time on that do it blindfolded um you got to be able to sh when you're blindfolded go through the car just quickly the reason for the whole blindfolded thing is well, if you're on fire yeah yeah you got to get out quick yeah, you've got to show me you can stop the car, pull the levers and get out. And then once you've proved that, obviously, first of all, then it's out onto the racetrack before, you know, or you've got to do that before you get there. What have you got to do in regards to runs, that kind of thing? Yeah, first one, you've got to do a burnout, then a launch, um, then come back again, then you've got to repeat the same burnout, launch, then to about 60 foot half track. You know, you just got to go in steps, in progress, you know, and then the final bit, you've got to do the two full passes. So, final checkouts on the car as partner and top fuel driver in her own right, Shelley Pearson, looks on. It's warm in there. Is everything all right, yeah? Yeah, it's fine. I've got it. When you're learning, it's a very big step to take. Um, you know, you, the, the pressure on you when your body comes down on the car, when you're a novice, is immense. And, and once you've done it a couple of times, and you, you know that disaster's not going to happen, it, it gradually gets easier, you know. So hopefully it can get halfway down the track and feel comfortable and then, then, then you can push on. From it. So day two of qualifying, it's still blisteringly cold and our sportsman racers take to the track. The funny cars are waiting in the staging lanes. Well, Jason, yesterday's run, uh, did that take you by surprise that it hooked and went? It took me by surprise when I went past the Christmas tree. <laughs> to be honest, I really didn't expect it to go that far. I, I covered the brake, but um, I didn't actually touch it, and the thing just went. It, it, yeah, complete surprise. Well, it hooked and went really well, sounded very strong as well. Plan for today, more of the same? Uh, yeah, just try and get that bit further down the track. Obviously, we're still working against the uh, the weather a little. Yesterday in the staging lanes, I was getting dressed in a snowstorm. 
you know. So like, it's. Uh, but I think you know, just that bit further. Just said, uh, just try and work it. That's all. Yesterday's run far from perfect, but pretty good considering the conditions. Yeah, we were pleased just to get the car off the line. To be honest, track was better than we expected it to be, which uh, you know, very commendable to. Uh, Keith Bartlett, what he's done with the track, I'm very, very impressed with it. Very. And what did Dave actually do to the car to get it off the line? I mean, it was just incredible to watch fuel cars launching at nearly sub-zero temperatures. Yeah, it's probably the coldest race ever in the world, I should think. Um, he, he just calmed it down. Very difficult to calm these cars down, this car especially. But he, he did a good job, took a bit off the clutch and timing out of it. And, well, they're all getting strapped in, ready to go. That's Jason Phelps negotiating his way into what is a very tight, cramped space in there. This is Gordy Smith's run on day two of qualifying. Well, once again, the car hooks up really, really nicely. No sign of shake or spin at all. Gordy just getting off the throttle, taking things a little bit easy. Goes through with a nine second run, but he knows he's got a good combination for race day. So far lane again, John Spufford is the only car out of the competing few in Funny Car this weekend that hasn't actually made it off the start line. But to be fair to John and the team, uh, that car is an absolute animal. Very, very difficult to calm it down enough to get it to stick to the racetrack. Jason Phelps with a good launch and ran to around about half track, went, uh, ran about a six second run yesterday, which isn't too bad at all in these conditions. So here we go then, let's see how they get on on day two of qualifying. Another storming launch for Jason Phelps. Clicks off the throttle a little bit early. Same problem once again for John Spufford. And so with Shelley walking up the track, it's time for Kevin's first licensing run of the weekend. But these are far from ideal conditions to be getting your feet wet in a funny car. Real nice controlled burnout for Kevin. The car is actually brand spanking new, been built by Webster Race Engineering. The body is one of the Showtime's team's older Mustang bodies. A really, really nice looking piece. Gorgeous paint job. And Kevin, a part of his licensing needs to go to at least 60 foot, I think, on this one. Well, he goes past 60 foot to around 330. Everything on the car is new, so he's just got to take it really nice and easy and go further down the racetrack with each run. Well, the drivers are suiting up for the first round of the Nitro Funny Car Challenge here at Santa Pod Raceway. We've got a bit of drama before we even start. We don't even know whether the Showtime team are going to make it down for round one. The weather is very, very cold. These engines don't like it at the moment. I don't think the teams like it much either. But we've still got Gordon getting strapped in. We've still got Jason getting strapped in. Will Spuff make it? We'll find out soon. Well, Dave, you've just been strapping Gordy in. Um, bit of a cold morning, to say the least. Anything different planned for today? Uh, I think it's a little more like guesswork today, really, yeah, rather than yeah. tuning. Um, no, I mean, shots in the dark, that's all I can say. It is so cold today, it really, really is. And this car is very, very difficult to keep calm. So, well, you managed it the last couple of days. I mean, uh, you've managed to get off the line, which has surprised everyone, maybe even you. Uh, no, I'm pretty used to doing this now on cold tracks, but there is a line, you know. It is still a fuel funny car, so we're at that line right now. Well, you're out here and running as well. We don't see uh, Bob and Spuff down there at the moment. They'll be here. <laughs> They'll be here. Well, after that confident-sounding response, they weren't there. So the two drivers have elected to run side-by-side -side buys for the semi-finals. So Gordy Smith there, and Jason Phelps with the black Mustang. Now these two guys, just need to tell you again, should be running two solo runs, two single runs to go into the final, but a better show for the crowd and to make like a bit easier for themselves as well. They're going out and running side by side. So what happened to Spuff, we don't know yet. Uh, we're gonna have to get over in the pits and find out in just a moment. So as they move forward, this is just like a prelude to the final, if you like. Jason in the near lane, Gordon in the far lane. Well, Gorm was off the throttle quite early. I can only think they were uh, problems for him. But they're both through into the final. 
Well, time to find out just what happened to John Spufford. Here in the pits with John Spufford. Unfortunately, John didn't make it down for round one. Um, not the weather that got you this time, was it? Uh, the weather's definitely not helped us along here. We've had clutch issues, as we've seen. We've been trying to fix problems. We're getting one problem after another because of the cold conditions. And we thought we got it fixed this morning. Then we found another problem, which we think is a problem. We don't know. Um, and then the last knockings, we couldn't get the jacks to go down because the oil was too cold. Of all the things that could happen, is that that's why you didn't make it down for round one? We was trying to get the car on the ground, and I mean, we made a mess on the floor trying to just release the hydraulic oil out the jacks. Well, time for everybody to get into the grandstands and get some good viewing for the final coming up. But unfortunately, and unbelievably, after a bit of a war of attrition this weekend, it is only Jason Phelps with the Shockwave black car that makes it down for the final round. Another strong burnout. Unfortunately, Gordy Smith damaged the engine so badly on that run earlier on that he didn't make it round for the final. So a victory lap for Jet. I was just going to say a victory lap for Jason Phelps, but unfortunately for him, the same fate that's befallen John Spufford all weekend, instant tyre smoke. He got the green light, so he will get the win, but the cold conditions have been so tough on these guys this weekend, but they still get their round points. Jason, real tough work first weekend for the funny cars. Uh, lots of trouble with the cold, but you came out on top. Uh, yeah, I think more last man standing, really, was the... Uh basically how it ended up for the weekend uh, it was really tricky conditions and uh, I, Dave managed to tune his way around it most of the way until we, we did have a go at the end and it sort of like went a little bit wrong for us but yeah yeah it was just hard work but we lost we're here so well, hopefully the season can only get warmer plans from here on you've actually leave here with the points lead and in something like a four round championship that really does count for a lot yeah I to be honest, I haven't actually looked at anything like that because um, I'll just concentrate on getting to the next round now. We're going to clear up the mess <laughs> and then uh, and to see what we've got and uh, we'll be back. We'll be back at the main event without a shadow of a doubt, hopefully with some sort of sun in the sky and ready to we'll have it. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. Well, congratulations from all of us and we'll see you next time. Uh, excellent, yeah, no problem. That's it from Santa Pod for the weekend. We hope to see you with all the funny cars again next time. It's going to be real tough.